What up, YouTube? I'm back, and this is just a review or a season preview of Butler basketball for the 2016-2017 season. Now, a big thing that is on everybody's mind is how does Butler come back from losing both Roosevelt Jones and Kellen Dunham, who produced 30 points per game combined to help Butler go to the NCAA tournament and all that. How do they come back from that or something? Now, they are getting back the second leading scorer for Butler, Kellen Martin. Yeah, Kellen Martin, who should be a leader on the team next year, with also Tyler Lewis, who was an NC State uh, transfer and has set out for... I think last year for due to NCAA rules, which he should be the point guard next year and help out. So there's kind of that. Then there's also Tyler Wyman and Andrew Karabisk, who should help out with the team because uh, I think Andrew was the uh, starting power forward or center for the team while. Tyler Woodman came out the bench and helped, or was a starter. Now, they have some recruits, uh, Kamar and Henry, who should help out, with uh, Joey Brunk, who's 6'11", should be a good part of the team. He can help out with uh, any, like, defense or offense. He's really good. I think he was part of the ESPN 100, ESPN 100 for a couple of the I think part of the year last year, but he got knocked out, but should be a good part of the team. He went to Southport, which they faced the soon-to-be state champions, New Albany, which they had Romeo Langford on, which he's a great player, so, yeah. Uh, then you got more, there should be more playing time for Jordan Gaithers, uh, Jackson Davis and Nate Fuller as they are they got small time but still produce good amount of numbers but next year they should be getting a lot more we should see that uh, scoring should go up uh, also uh, we should see Sean McDermott play some more as he sat out last year to actually, I think he, to play more since, uh, was it? I think it was because of the playing time that he may not get. And then he gets an extra year to uh, play. Uh, I saw something. Uh, also, I went to school with him, so he sh back in middle school and elementary for a couple of years, I think mean, it was three, so he should be able to get some more playing time, he's a good shooter, we should see a lot throughout uh, Butler's uh, like guards, they should be able to produce some good numbers from the arc and inside of it, we should see a bit more uh, post ups as they do have uh, Nate Fuller, Andrew, and Joey all being around or over 6'8". So you have some guys that are like big, they can get to the rim. So there should be the uh, uh, Then you have Tyler and Callan who are really like, they're like small forward power forward mix. They're really big and they can get to the rim fast. They can do really good. Kellen is probably going to be the leading scorer next year. He's probably going to produce around 16 to probably 18 points per game. Uh, for the Big East, they sh the Butler Bulldogs sh probably they're probably going to be in the top, like, five or six. They still have uh, Xavier 
and Villanova to think about. Providence, I mean, they have some good uh, players. It's just that they lost some talent, but they're, they're up there. Then you got, uh, I don't know, St. John's probably not going to be up there. Georgetown's probably. It just depends on the year, but there's a possibility that Butler does go to the NCAA tournament, and we'll have to see about that. I'm not, I'm not like betting on it, but there's a good chance that they may. They will probably be in the top of the Big East. Uh, I feel like there's going to be a lot of like uh, battles. I think that. Hinkle Fieldhouse would be a good uh, advantage for Butler. Does that mean that some team may come in and beat them? Probably. But I feel like Butler is a good team right now. They probably are lacking uh, a backup point guard. I mean, they do have a good point guard with Tyler Lewis. He's probably going to produce like 11 or 12. The small forward, you got Kellen, or Helan, I don't know, I'm not 100% sure, but it's, and the uh, power forward, you probably got Tyler and Andrew, then center, you got Nate Fowler and Joey Bronk. You got many, like, small, you got a lot of shooting guards with, like, I think, probably, like, five of them or six. There's a lot. So we have there's gonna be a lot of like probably like switching out. I think probably Sean McDermott's gonna be the backup to either Kellen for small I mean yeah small for small forward as Kellen I think is six seven, six six, somewhere around six there. Well Sean McDermott's like six six, so there should be a switch out, but I think Kellen's gonna get the most playing time out of any player on Butler. Probably he's gonna be in the uh, Big East All American or All Big East first team. I think Tyler Lewis may be on the second team in a way. And then I think uh, Joey Bronk will be probably first or second team but all these uh, freshmen it depends I think he may have a chance at uh, freshman of the year for the Big East too that depends on like the players I can't remember who's going to all the Big East teams so there's a chance but he's probably going to be first or second most likely second but still good chance of being on there. Uh, if you like the video, like it, subscribe, uh, write down any comments that I may have missed, but yeah, Butler Bulldogs, they have a good chance of doing great this season. See ya.